What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another dino action figure review on the Beasts of the Mesozoic Kickstarter Ceratopsian series Triceratops Horridus sub-adult figure. If you try and get your Beasts of the Mesozoic figures, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And while you're down there, please go ahead and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell and big thanks to dave silva and the people over at creative beast studios for making this review possible and sending out this product my way to review for you guys i am stoked to get this early look at this triceratops over here i love the artwork on the side that looks really good nice packaging very reminiscent to the raptor series you get some green right over here and the window creeps around and then on the back you can see a whole bunch of different dinos that you could pick up that is looking awesome and then there's a card right over here that's included and then there's a read up over here if you want to read it go ahead and pause it right now then on this side you can see this nice image of the triceratops and then on the very top right over here you can see it says 20 points of articulation in this red foil and then it says realistic movement and detail profile card included number three beast of the mesozoic ages 15 and up and then on the bottom you can see all the people responsible for creating the figure and then you get this sleeve right over here on the side that i'm just going to go ahead and and rip right here i could just peel the tape off like that it's not that hard and then you can just see a couple of other dinosaurs right over there on the left side so yeah more ceratopsian figures looking pretty sweet all right i'm very excited for this so let's get to it and crack this thing open <laughs> So we don't get any accessories per se, but we do get a trading card right here and a little instruction manual, plus a bonus coffee stain. Uh, but you can see it says Ceratopsian uh, tail assembly. And yeah, you just want to dip the tail into hot water or heat it up with a hairdryer for 20 seconds and it pops on there very easily. And it did. So it just comes separately in the package. You just have to heat it up and pop it on there and it worked out fine. And I love this artwork right over here. We saw this on the packaging already, but man, that is just beautiful. I love this. And then on the back right here, uh, you get a whole read up and specs and everything on the Triceratops Horridus right there. So that is really cool. And then you get a product shot of the figure right there up top. <laughs> So I have little to no complaints with any of the paint and sculpt on this thing, or even the articulation. I mean, really, well, we'll get into the articulation in just a little bit, but yeah, for real, this thing is pretty amazing. So everything is supposed to be as realistic looking as possible, and I love the paint scheme over here, and I love this sculpt right here. I mean, I've seen Triceratops skulls before, and they do have that huge nasal cavity right there, so I like that. And you can, of course, see the beak, and then you get this nice uh, pink tongue on the inside right there with some gloss pink paint so that's neat that that works out really nicely you can see little touches of beige for the teeth in there too that is cool and you can see the tongue so that is very awesome I love how the eyes came out on this look at that that is so cool the crest looks amazing I love that they have this added paint right over here because it would make sense that it would try to make itself look larger than it is right like nature I mean th there's ideas in nature that you can repeat like for instance the the stripe thing right that kind of reminds me of zebras like it would make sense this is a herd animal and it would want to protect itself by you know using the stripes so that you know the weaker ones all blend in with the larger ones and it's harder to pick out the babies and the weak uh, animals so yeah that totally makes sense and I like this it's neat that they added the blue right over here I really like how it fades from like a yellowish orange to tan color right there at the bottom the scales are all sculpted really well I like how the neck looks right underneath here you get some nice texturing throughout on it that is very cool. There's looking at the little Triceratops toes, right? And the toenails are all painted actually, so that is beautiful. I like that. Triceratops little tootsies right there, so tiny. That, well, what's the 44 rule? If there's, you know, if you could think of it, there's a fetish for it. So yeah, somebody out there has a thing for Triceratops toes. Somebody actually does. <laughs> <laughs> or does that not exist? I don't know. But anyway, getting back to the sculpt, I love the scales once more. Just so much detail over here. I love how we have brown over the black. That is very cool because these look like little scoots, right? Little mini scoots sculpted on the back. There's the inside of the crest. Fascinating thing is, I believe, if, if I'm wrong about this, someone correct me, but that the neck joint of a Triceratops is the only perfect sphere created in Mother Nature, right? Like, you may be thinking, like, oh, what about cherries and grapes and stuff like that? No, 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 no. Those aren't perfect spheres. Like, you're talking about perfect sphere, ball joint of a Triceratops neck. So, looking at the tail right there, and you can see how it blends in very nicely. So, that's really cool. 
You're just looking at the back of it, and man, I just love all these details. I could stare at all the little details of this thing forever. And I like the big gut and wide rib cage right over here, too. Horns look really nice as well. I like how you get a little bit of brown and it kind of just bleeds up right over here with that pattern. And they are a bit pointy, as they should be, so that's cool, you know, but not so pointy where I feel like it's going to draw blood. But yeah, really great looking horns. So we get a good amount of articulation with the figure. Uh, you can turn the head side to side that much as a pivot it will look up that far and you can move it down that far you do get a jaw joint right over there wish there was a little bit more range of movement over here with the head but you could see that you could get it to turn around pretty far right i mean that's pretty good moves up and down pretty well too but yeah the side to side motion is where i'm really getting the most movement so that's cool and you have two joints so you have the head joint and you have the neck joint over here there's also a midsection joint that turns side to side it'll and just wiggle up and down a little oh as long as you shift it underneath there it'll turn inward a little bit more so so that's cool and of course it turns side to side and it will twist uh, these front legs will move forward and back you can move them outward as well uh, you get a single joint right there at the elbow and then it could turn side to side and then you also get a ball joint right over here for the ankle and then similar articulation with the hind legs they don't move outward as much but you can move them outward and shift them inward and they do move forward and back and then you get a single jointed knee and it bends inward and rotates then you get rotation right here on this heel piece and it hinges up and down and it pivots a little bit and then you get more articulation for the foot that turns side to side it mostly just turns side to side and pivots more than anything and then the tail joint right here will shift up and down turn side to side and rotate in basically any direction you want so a ball joint like this on the tail on the head would have been pretty neat but i could see how they needed to sculpt in all this extra stuff right over here so i don't know how that would have been executed that way but still i think it's pretty poseable i had a lot of fun with this especially with the x Mani 87 dio yeah stay tuned towards the end of the video and to measure out the height of this triceratops, you can see that it's at around the four and a half to five inch mark. But measuring out uh, all the way from horn to tail, you can see that he is closer to around the 10 inch mark, I would say. 10 and a half inch, maybe. And then here's the beast of the Mesozoic Triceratops next to one of the Velociraptors, Osmolaskai Alpha. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I butchered the names. But anyway, uh, yeah, the Triceratops is a 1 18th scale figure, and the Velociraptor is 1 6th scale. So that's why, you know, they're not to scale, uh, obviously. Both of these are very amazing, man. I really dig them. And here's our beast of the Mesozoic Triceratops next to Mattel's Jurassic World Rampage. Paging Triceratops. This is very much a film looking Triceratops for Jurassic World and then this is our very much more realistic looking Triceratops right here. They're more or less about the same size though, right? But yeah, you can see how the anatomy is different and everything. Like these legs right over here are much longer. He's not as low to the ground as he is right over here. So yeah, I, they look like they scale to be in about the same size and everything. But yeah, dude, I mean this is... <laughs> then here's the Triceratops next to your average 6 inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Badass Spider. Man, and no, I don't have a stop motion for you guys today. I was actually planning to post a different video today, a more Halloween hellish kind of video today was the plan. So plans change, that will go up tomorrow. So please stay tuned. But yeah, still the Triceratops is amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thank you to all these people over here that go the extra mile to help this channel grow. If you're interested in supporting, check it out. Link in the description below. And this thing is dope. I really like this a lot, man. The sculpt in the paint apps is what really sells me the most on these Beasts of the Mesozoic figures. And that's what's being delivered right over here more than anything else. I really do like the articulation, even though I I wouldn't say it's the most dynamic articulation, but it's certainly better than any articulation I've seen on any other dinos out there. And the fact that they've been able to maintain the aesthetic of the Triceratops with all that articulation added to it as well is just a great achievement. I think this is dope. So yeah, man, if you're interested in this, check it out. Link in the description below. I'd like to know what you guys think. And at the price point of the Kickstarter, yeah, which is, you know, not cheap, man. You're getting some good quality stuff here, but keeping that in mind, I would give this a sun rating of <laughs> yeah man this is kind of niche stuff and i think this is just worth what you're getting into you know like it just totally delivers on what i was expecting so i think it's really awesome i'd like to know what you guys think so please let me know in the comment section below and then don't forget to follow me over on instagram twitter twitch and stardust and i hope you all have a happy halloween and i will catch you guys later peace <laughs> Yeah.
action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. And hope you guys had a hot... I hope you all have... I hope you have... And I hope you all have a hoppy... And I hope you all have a hot... Uh, and I hope you all have a happy Halloween. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.